Republicans have been losing ground in Colorado over the last few years. And what they hoped would be a strong midterm election showing ended up in a supermajority for Democrats in the state house. And now the party has elected a new GOP chair who aligns himself very heavily with former President Trump. A Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez sat down with that new chairman, former state rep Dave Williams, to talk about his plans for the party. It wasn't a single election or a single legislative session. There's no one moment that tells the story of the Republican Party losing its foothold in Colorado. And yet it's a culmination of all of those things. I think after every election, it's important to, to really look and say, where can I be the most influential? That is now leading the party in a new direction. I did decide not to run for re-election of the GOP chairman. Over the weekend, roughly 400 Republicans came together to elect Dave Williams as the new chair. We're going to war. This is a political war. and. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things at stake for our state. Williams is a former state representative known for being divisive at the Capitol. Last year, he unsuccessfully challenged Congressman Doug Lamborn in the Republican primary, where he tried to have his name appear as Dave Let's Go Brandon Williams on the ballot. He's also is everyone ready to fight for election integrity? A well-known 2020 election denier who even spoke at a Mike Lindell rally last year. What would you tell people about um, like your record? Hey, I am who I am. I'm the most conservative candidate in the race. Uh, I make no bones about that. I don't apologize. Williams was one of seven running for the spot. Almost all questioned or denied the election results to some extent. If the starting point for elections is can we even trust them, how do you get to the point where you can talk about the topics instead of the just even the process. I think we have to start putting the focus on the Democrats. They're the ones who are in charge. For that, Williams says he wants to unify the party and focus on issues affecting families, but he also wants to close off the Republican primaries to unaffiliated voters. This is a big deal. Democrats have funneled lots of money into meddling in our primaries. In 2022, the Republican primary saw the highest ever unaffiliated voter turnout. The demographic makes up 45 percent of the overall electorate. It is an interesting idea, right? Um, this idea of of closing off the primaries to keep um, unaffiliated out, but then having to pivot, right, and 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 ask them to vote, you know, for, for your candidate. Well, we've done it before, right? But now with the party taking a sharp right turn, more moderate Republicans are taking a step back while others question how much central committees really matter. With social media and the way that we, we talk to each other nowadays, it's less essential to have those behemoth organizations that kind of oversee everyone. Is there an identity crisis going on? A little bit. There's a lot of failed consultants, a lot of strategists who think we have to be all things to all people, that we have to move our party to the left in order to win. And that's not what people are looking for. Still, Williams is convinced he knows the path forward and insists Republicans aren't here to compromise. But we're going to vigorously fight against policies that we know are not uh, going to be good for Coloradans. And if that means a little less bipartisanship, OK. The question now is whether this new strategy will help Republicans gain ground in the state. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.